Ignatius Sancho. Ignatius Sancho was born in 1729 on a slave ship deporting Africans out of Africa to England. The life of a great man has begun. His mother died as a result of inhumane conditions in New Grenada. His father refused to live as a slave, so he chose to die. Sancho was alone and was later shipped to England to become a slave for maiden sisters in Greenwich from 1731 to 1749. Sancho caught the attention of John Montagu, who was the second Duke of Montagu. John taught and encouraged Sancho to read and also lent Sancho his own personal books to read from. In 1749, Sancho's educational level was increasing. He was beginning to understand that he was being dehumanized and decided to escape from Greenwich to live with the Montagus. He became the butler of Mary Montagu until her death, but he spent his time learning music, poetry, reading, and writing. In 1751, Mary Montagu died and Sancho was awarded 30 pounds, which was a year's salary. Stern's writings were publicized throughout Britain and became an important piece of 18th century abolitionist literature. Sancho earned the title of King of Letters. In 1774, Sancho opened a grocery store. This allowed him to share his literature with many more people. The sharing of his literature actually attracted people to his grocery store. Sancho would later write and publish Theory of Music. He would also write and publish two plays. Sancho was listed as an independent male householder in Britain and this listing gave him the right to vote. In 1774, Sancho became the first person of African origin to vote in the history of Britain. He continued to write his letters and he also began writing in newspapers using the alias Africanus. Sancho's grocery store attracted many people, but one important person it attracted was Charles James Fox. Fox was a statesman and abolitionist. In 1806, he oversaw a foreign slave trade bill prohibiting British subjects from contributing to the slave trade. This bill eliminated two-thirds of the slave trade passing through Britain. In December of 1780, Ignatius Sancho died of complications with gout. His literary genius, however, would live on. Sancho became the first person of African origin to be given an obituary in the British press newspaper. Sancho gained notoriety for his writings of his eyewitness accounts of the Gordon Riots. In 1782, Francis Crew and a friend arranged 160 of Sancho's letters into a two-volume book entitled The Letters of the Great Ignatius Sancho in Africa. The book sold well and Sancho's widow was able to receive over 500 pounds in royalties. Sancho's son, William Leach Osborne, inherited his father's shop and transformed it into a printing and book selling business. Osborne printed the fifth edition of the letters of the late Ignatius Sancho's with his memoirs of his life by Joseph Jekyll. In 2007, a plaque in the memory of Sancho was unveiled on the remaining wall of the Montagu House in Greenwich Park. Sancho was the catalyst behind the heightened consciousness of the horrors of the slave trade throughout Britain. His outstanding writings caused people to pay attention to slavery and Sancho's brilliant writing style. Mr. Ignatius Sancho, we stand on your shoulders.